I grew up reading a lot of the stories and the fables and I read a lot as a kid. It was like my first love, what I did on my free time. And I just felt like Greece was this magical place and I just wanted to see it. I just remember being in my classroom teaching, all my kids were down for nap, start screaming, they wake up, the teacher next door comes over, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I just, I got the Fulbright, I'm going to Greece. And my kids are screaming, congratulations, Miss P. And all the teachers are hugging me. I mean, it was just, it just felt like magic. My name is Brianna Pledger and I'm in Greece teaching English through the Fulbright Foundation. I'm originally from Colorado, but I chose to teach in Greece because of the history here and I just have a connection with literature. I grew up reading um, a lot of Greek fables, mythology, and Greece just seemed like the place to be. In undergrad, I studied psychology, but because Oxy is such a small school, the school that I went to, I was afforded the opportunity to teach writing classes to um, students in um, juvenile detention centers, so incarcerated youth, and I fell in love with education. I taught kindergarten for two years in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. My first year was very difficult. I didn't know how I was going to get through that year, but just watching my students grow, how much they learned academically, how much they grew socially, it was just a very profound moment for me and I knew that's why I wanted to be in education. Oh, education is life-changing. I mean, I grew up in a very low-income neighborhood. I was the first in my family to go to college and if you would have asked me 20 years ago would I be teaching in Greece? No, because no one around me was doing anything like that. What I really like about the Fulbright Fellowship is that um, it does a great job of reaching people who wouldn't have these opportunities otherwise. You can be from any discipline, you can be from any social economic background, and they give you the opportunity to come abroad and learn and then take that back to America. I don't think that there's another time in your life or another program that would afford you the same experience. I mean, I've lived in another country for an entire year, and I feel like I've really been welcomed into this community, and a lot of that is because Fulbright has facilitated it. There was a little girl, she said, Miss, where are you from? I said, America. It's really? Yes, I'm from America. But, but you're not from Africa? Are you sure you're not from Africa? And Yes, well, my family originally is from Africa, maybe 500 years ago, but black people came to America and now I'm American. I mean, the kids are young and they don't know because they've never been exposed to it. And that's why I think it's important that um, people of color from all over the world get to travel more and get to share their culture with people who haven't experienced it just so we can build more awareness around the world.